hi welcome to my video now i go take the topic about how to enable pxc boot in virtual box before proceeding further first i will tell what is pxc boot pxc boot is a pre boot execution environment it is a service it will maintain the service to install the operating system and maintain the client server communication communication and install the operating system to the remote machine which is not yet installed by any operating system so first to do these things we have to enable pxc enable nikon by default virtual box it will not support the pxc boot uh, for this thing i will uh, tell i will uh, show in a practical example for example this node this compute node uh, first boot device as the network and this network is intel bridge adapter and it is type is intel pro so while booting this machine it should send the signal pxc signal to the machine but it will not send see here we are getting error message so to enable pxc we need to install the virtual box extension to Firefox, go to Firefox, click virtual box extension, virtual box extension pack, click the first link, once click the first link, uh, yeah, click here. Save the file. It is 11.9 MP. For some machine I have already downloaded. See here. So by taking time, I will just copy this file into Sampa directory yes uh, it's already served so same thing so I am just going to Sampa yes this is Oracle virtual box extension I don't know what reason it is not working here, but it will work. Oh, gee. Just close this. Just and send these. Okay, anyway, leave it. I already installed with this option if you click this I already installed this virtual box extension in this ISS server so for example you can just uh, just like you lost the question you have to give the option and finally it will install uh, so I have already installed so we'll check how it will react in this setup cancel okay check this node uh, machine power off and check these settings uh, first boot device is nick card nick and uh, bridge adapter and etk0 so i am booting this machine so while booting you can see here it will send the px yeah see here it will send the request and it will get the IP from uh, DHCP then it will load the TFT boot IP address this is a concept and uh, we'll do this thing I'll try to do this in a very slow process so you'll come to you will understand in a better way
uh, okay now the thing is I take the remote uh, SH connection in the machine that is the things I just restart the DHCP server and uh, just doing some conflict so it will take time so in that way you can come to know see here now yeah it is sending request and uh, it is unable to get the file uh, now the reason is I am not properly mention the file name in the DHCP file I mentioned the directory that is the reason it's unable to get the file see here uh, Vim I mentioned the TFT boot directory actually we need to mention the file name start zero you need to mention the file name in the DHCP file and uh, see, TFT we need to mention the directory that is the concept yeah in the D TFT we need to specify the directory TFT boot in DHP we need to specify the file name so once the client machine it connected to the DHP server and uh, it will get the first it will connect get the IP address from the master miss server machine I'll write it first client what it will do mean it will get the IP address from the DH, DHP master then it will get the IP address of the TFTP server then get the PXE file from the TFTP server this thing will happen okay so now I replace I mentioned the correct file name now we will check how it will react I am booting the machine if you are not properly specified file name and directory in the dhcp.conf file and tft will get this error message like file not found tftp error exiting in del pxe rom no bootable media found system all just like we will get the error message so to resolve this we need to give the proper directory in the tft file and uh, proper file name in the dhcp so i already given and restart and now i will restart the machine we will check how it will react yes now it is working fine first it is getting the IP address clear then it is getting the PA file then everything is okay this is the concept Thanks for watching the video